Hi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Allison Cedar. I am an artist. I moonlight as a full-time working mom. Today, I wanted to share with you my bag of travel art supplies that I like to take with me whenever I am intending to do art on the go. I actually just got this case. It's brand new. So I am not really sure how I feel about it yet. Like if it's a good size for me, it fits everything that I want in here so far. But I don't know, right now I'm like not really sure if it's the case for me. I'm still kind of on the hunt. So TBD on if this is a good case or not. I will do my best to link everything that I can in the description down below. So if you have any questions about where to get any of this stuff that I mentioned in today's video, um, check that out first. If the link isn't there, it's probably because it's not available anymore. <laughs> I don't really have a lot that I keep in this area just yet, but I, I do have some um, other custom watercolor half pans that I'm planning to put in here. This is one of the ones that I did for my Europe art supply video that I did last year. So those just stay right here for whenever I wanna use them. Um, right here I have all of my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. Um, these come in a pack of like six. I ended up switching over to Pit Artist Pens after being a Micron girl for so long. Um, and I just got really frustrated with the fact that, I don't know what it is about the way they're manufactured, but Microns just tend to like explode at the, at the tip. After having them for a little while, the, the, ink just starts coming out of the top and then it's just completely just covered in ink. So that got really annoying for me. So I ended up switching to the Pit Artist Pens. And I like these because they come in a variety. So I have right here, this is uh, the Soft Chisel, I believe is what that stands for. Soft Brush 1.5, so that's what that looks like. The brush. And then this is just small. So this is like a fine liner. This is extra small. So this is like super fine liner. Um, but yeah, these work pretty well for my needs and what I like to do with, um, with inking, especially on the go. Okay. And then this is the Pentel Orens 0.5 mechanical pencil. I got this in my Sibylline gouache kit from, what's the name of that company? And then I got this um, six inch ruler from Blick forever ago. I think one of their reps came around to my college and was just like handing out some freebies as like advertising. Um, it's kind of got some chips in it though. So I think I might try to find something to replace it that would probably be metal or something a little more sturdy. Uh, this is like a little letter and, and number punctuation stencil. I actually don't use this a lot. I don't know why I don't use it a lot, but I, I think I'd like to start using it more. But um, I think I got this as a hand-me-down from, from like a family member or something ages ago. And there's like this little pocket in here. This is where I keep all my watercolor stuff. And this is my Chavon um, travel watercolor set. So I have one of my paint brushes in here. Let me scoochy these. Oh no, scooch, scoochy, scooch. Um, so I have one of my travel watercolor brushes right here. So keep that in there. Okay, try not to ruin it, but just kind of keeps that in there permanently. And then um, my other two travel watercolor brushes are right here. I don't keep them in there because they're kind of like thicker and they don't all fit in the kit like super well. So I just keep those right here. And then these I ended up deciding to get after going on like a little um, painting excursion last year. This is like a collapsible cup. So I ended up getting this because I needed something to put water in so that I could rinse my watercolor brushes <clears throat> and then have like clean water to dip it in so that I could keep painting. Um, so I didn't have that. So that kind of made it a little bit more 
cumbersome. And then there's like these little feet on here to help stabilize it when you're traveling. Um, so uh, these, are, these are new additions to my travel watercolor set. And it comes with like a little cap so you don't get a whole bunch of dirt in it. This is my, gosh, what is this called? I made a video on this ages ago, like like 2017, I made a video on this, but this is like a really nice um, brush pen, ink brush pen. Um, I still keep it in here. It has like, I, I have kind of left ink in here for too long. So I've tried cleaning it out and then um, like it kind of works again, but um, I don't know, I might have to try cleaning it again because I really do like this brush. It's a very nice, brush it's very like thick and if it it's like got like a nice matte finish so I do still have it in here um for anybody that that's watched that video and is wondering if I still use it yep it's still in here I use it on the go this is another recent addition to my um travel art set is the big whiteout pen the shake and squeeze pen so it has like a pointed tip on it um, like a pen tip and it's like liquid in here. So you can have like liquid white out. So if I need to make a correction on anything, um, then now I'm gonna start using this. I used to have like a tape white out, but I mentioned in one of my Europe sketchbook videos that I didn't like the tape white out because whenever I tried to color back over it, it changed the color of like my colored pencils. I don't know. It just looked weird. Um, so I'm going to try this one and hopefully this looks a little better whenever I use it and then color back over it. I feel pretty confident that this will be a better solution for on the go. So TBD on this one. Now in the back side, just a couple extra things that um, are helpful. This is a eraser pencil from Tombow and this is the Mono Knock 3.8. It's got like a very thin eraser in there so that way you know I can just do some detailed erasing or if I wanted to I could do some bigger erasing but this makes it so it's very um, easily portable. And this is one of my more favorite pens to draw with these days. This is the Pentel Sleechy 0.25 in black. So I actually found out about this from one of Fran Nerd's videos where she tested out like a whole bunch of pens for sketching. This is like a while ago, but I ended up buying this on her recommendation and I do really like it. So this is one of my um, standard pens that I include in my travel kit. And then this one I discovered on my own. This is the Uniball. I'm not sure how this word is meant to be said. I say Sino because like sign, signing, maybe it's Sino, I don't know, but um, Uniball, that's the brand. And then the thickness on this, 0.33 millimeters. And this one is in blue. I, I tend to prefer their blue version of this. It does like a very nice thin line. I, I tend to lean towards the gel pens because they do like nice, really smooth lines when you write. This one just, I like the color of the blue and then you can kind of build up the line and it makes it look very sketchy, but in a nice way. I really like this pen. I've done a lot of sketching with this one. Do I even have like any ink left in this? This is how much I've used it. There's like no ink left in this. I'm gonna have to get another one. Okay, and then this is the Gel Extreme 0.7 by Y and C. I don't know, I don't really have any strong feelings on this. Is it good? Maybe. Do I have it? Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I just have it in here just in case I wanna highlight something with some white. Although now I have the um, white out pen, so I just might end up starting to use that instead. I mean, the, the white is okay on this. It's fine. I have, I have no qualms with it, but I don't, I also don't get super excited about it. So, and then this is the Pentel brush pen. This has like actual hairs in, instead of like a felt tip. I tend to prefer the brush pens that have actual hairs, um, but this is a really good, easily accessible brush pen. Um, and I think it's refillable. So it's refillable. If you wanted to get something that, um, you know, it's a nice brush pen that you can refill and reuse. And this is a good one. Um, you can find it at most stores. I feel like I got that at Michael's. And then this is the Boss Stitch Twist and Sharp Pencil Sharpener. Why do I even have this in here? Like I, I think I took out all of my 
regular pencils. Actually, you know what? My Prismacolor pencils are downstairs. I've been keeping like all of these art supplies downstairs in my um, end table. So normally I would have like some Prismacolors in here. And that's why this is in here is to sharpen the Prismacolors. Um, but right now they're downstairs. So anyways, I had a different um, pencil sharpener in here, but I didn't really like it and it came came apart all the time and it would make a big mess. So I got this one, hopefully it's good. It had good reviews on Amazon. Um, it looks like it does like two different um, modes of sharpening. Like this is pointed tip and then this is like a blunt tip. Like, I don't even know, does that work? It doesn't really look like it does much, but I, I guess I'll have to test it and find out. And then it opens from the side like that. Yeah, I don't know, had good reviews. So I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. And then these are like viewfinders that you can take on the go to kind of help you with composition. So if you are intending to go out and take reference photos, you can use these to kind of like position your subject in the frame and you could take a picture through this. So you could take like your normal reference photo and then you could also take a picture through this. So that way you kind of have a guide built in for um, the composition and also to help you break up the picture that you're trying to draw to help you draw it more accurately or like space things out appropriately. Um, so these come in handy every so often. I, I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of them, but you know, I, I just keep them in here because you never know if you might need them. These are called art grid cards. I don't even know if this is still in business. Um, it might be, might not be. I got this from a Kickstarter campaign ages ago. So then they have other one. So this is like a 16 by nine. So then it gives you like different markers for I think different screen widths. You could put tape so that way you can kind of block it out and then you only see the the square. Or you could do it here where it's like two by three and then you only see the two by three. So that is my travel art kit. Um, it's constantly changing and evolving and sometimes I take stuff out of here while I am using it at the house which is why like pencils aren't in here, but I do have erasers and like a pencil sharpener. So normally there would be pencil stuff in here, but there isn't because it's all downstairs. I hope you found this helpful. And again, like I said, all of the links for things that are still available to purchase will be in the description box below. That's all I got for today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. In the meantime, don't quit your daydream and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.